Good morning, my name is Elliot Gu and I'm the editor of the Energy Strategist. Uh, well, it's Wednesday again, so I want to take a look at today's uh, oil and uh, oil products inventory report. Uh, the, the number out of the government was uh, for a, a 3.1 million barrel uh, decline in crude oil inventories. Uh, expectations had actually been for a 2.4 million barrel build. Uh, so this is actually the first crude oil inventory report we've had uh, in about six or seven weeks uh, where it's been actually kind of a bullish report uh, where we've seen um, uh, inventories uh, uh, decline uh, when they were actually expected to, to rise. Uh, crude oil stocks generally are about in line with average for this time of year. Uh, we had been way under average uh, towards the end of 2007 uh, and we built up very aggressively, a lot uh, more aggressively than uh, most had expected uh, throughout the end of December and going out through, through January and February. Uh, and uh, with today's decline, we're actually back to about in line with average. Uh, a lot of people are asking why OPEC uh, has said that they won't increase supply uh, with crude oil prices uh, over $100 a barrel again today. The reality is though, the crude oil market actually doesn't look uh, all that undersupplied. Um, it's actually about in line with average, as I mentioned. Uh, on the gasoline front, uh, the situation is even, uh, uh, is even more oversupplied. Uh, if we look at gasoline inventories, they were up about 1.7 uh, million barrels. Expectations had been for about a 600,000 barrel build. Uh, this again is one of the, uh, just the latest in a series, a long, uh, long series of reports where we've seen uh, gasoline inventories build a lot more than had been expected. Uh, gasoline inventories right now for this time of year are actually way, way, way above average for this time of year. Uh, and certainly very far above uh, last year's very depressed levels. Uh, so on both the crude oil side uh, and the gasoline side, crude oil is about in line with average. Gasoline is about way above average in terms of supply. But overall, it still doesn't look like a terribly tight market uh, for crude oil. And I think that's probably one of the things that OPEC is looking at. Uh, another point to note about, uh, about crude oil this year, uh, yes, it is up. Uh, it's up about 5%, a little over 5% so far this year, crude oil. Uh, but if you look at it, most of that can be accounted for by simply looking at the dollar. Uh, the, dollar, the value of the dollar against the euro and most other major currencies has fallen about 5 or 6 percent. Uh, so, so far this year, even though uh, that $100 oil gets a lot of headlines, uh, oil isn't up that much in, 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 uh, in real terms at all. Uh, and when you adjust for currency, um, it's pretty much flat with where it was at the end of last year, if you look at it in euro terms, etc. So I think most of the uh, run-up we've seen in crude oil prices this year uh, can really be uh, uh, attributed mainly to currencies. Uh, the final aspect of the report uh, is distillates. Uh, this, these were pretty much in line with, uh, with average uh, uh, for this time of year. Uh, the report is actually a little bit more bullish than expected. Uh, what we actually saw was an uh, actual decline of uh, 2.3 million barrels. Expectations were for a decline of 1.6 million barrels. But again, distillates are in, in line with average. Uh, if you look at the actual uh, uh, calculations from the EIA, uh, they do some seasonal adjustments and they show it actually a little bit under average, but distillates are pretty much in line. Uh, that would include, of course, heating oil and diesel fuel. Uh, the diesel fuel aspect of the report does look a little bit tight. Uh, diesel fuel uh, stocks are quite tight for this time of year, uh, and I do believe that's one reason that we've seen uh, uh, heating oil prices uh, uh, rally a lot over the last several weeks. So overall, a mixed report, uh, but I would say that the, market, the number the market's likely to focus on is that crude oil report, the first decline in crude oil inventories we've seen in some time, uh, the first time in some time that we've seen crude oil inventories actually decline um, uh, when they had been expected to rally for some time. So uh, I do think that's what the market's likely to focus on. I actually think a much more interesting report is going to be tomorrow's report on natural gas, also released at 10.30. Uh, we'll have another webcast about that. Uh, but if you look at it, actually natural gas prices aren't getting as much attention as crude oil this year, uh, but natural gas prices are up about 25% this year compared to only 5 or 6% for crude oil. So I think that'll be a much more interesting report to watch, uh, and that'll again be out tomorrow at 10.30. Thank you very much.